create invoice right now all of the form is empty so if i click on here in the create invoice we get an error right now this is because we are sending an empty form values to our server action we can prevent this by validating the form on the client or the server both cases instead of like showing an error we are just going to stop it all right so let's go ahead and uh, do a client side validation let's go back to our code here and let's go to create form.tsx here we are this is the form and what we want to do is in our we, you can do it in any input form really like or all of the input that is required so we want to do this amount here we want to add a required attribute here and let's go back and then now try to create this you see that this is a browser by default required is a default input attribute it's now doesn't let you create an invoice it doesn't even go to the server and give you an, an error it's a browser client side validation right now that's saying that hey you didn't put anything in the amount now you can do the required attribute to all of the inputs if you want but that's your client side validation example an alternative to client side validation is server side validation as well the best practice for me is to have both right let's go ahead and uh, delete this required just for our purpose i'm going to comment it out i'm not going to delete it i'm just going to comment this out and let's go ahead and uh, uh, implement a server side validation too. so what i'm going to do here is inside my we are inside already create from dos tsx i am going to import uh, something called a use form state hook from the react dom so let's go and do that so here we're going to import use form state from react now use form state is a hook we will need to turn our form into a client component using use client directive of course so let's go ahead and do that as well because we're using a hook so this one is now going to be a client component now inside our form component the use form state hook takes two arguments action initial state and returns to value state and dispatch the form state and a dispatch function similar to use reducer right it's similar to use reducer so let's go ahead and do this so we are going to go to our form function here and we're going to do const and it's going to get a state and dispatch and it's going to go come from the use form and state this one will create the create invoice and it will have an initial state in this form instead of calling create invoice directly we are now going to call dispatch from here now this initial state could be anything that we des uh, decide so let's go ahead and create this initial state is going to be like a, let's say a property that will have message uh, it will have null and error, error will have an empty object this may seem confusing initially but it will make more sense once we update the server action so let's do that now so in our action.ts file so let's go back to action.ts file here what we want to do is our form schema so let's go back here our form schema and our customer id z dot string it also going to take an object and we're going to say invalid type error and it's going to be a string we're going to say please select a customer save that we are going to go ahead and add something here as well in the number and here it's not going to be inside there but we're going to say gt first argument is number zero and here is an object that will be a message and we're going to say please enter an amount greater than zero it has to be a string that's why all these errors and we are also going to add to the this enum uh, let's see the enum will have a comma 
we'll take an extra object i'm gonna say invalid type error and that's gonna be please select an invoice status save this okay that's why it's going it was giving me an error it's not going to be outside of the enum function it's going to be inside the enum function right like so so it's going to take a pending and paid but also if it's a invalid type error it's going to say please select an invoice status okay the date is going to stay the same let's go ahead update our create invoice action to accept these two parameters so we are just simply going to add a temporary type here so let's go and do that export type state and it's going to have errors if errors exist it's going to have a customer id it's going to be optional but it's going to have a string array type we want to get an amount so again it's going to be an optional uh, it's going to be string again it's going to be an error um, array and then we want status optional array as well here and we're going to do message this and this is going to be an union type like so okay now and then of course our create invoice function let's go ahead and create invoice function is actually going to uh, now accept is the prev state which is going to be type of state and it's going to be uh, this is actually going to be like so okay so the previous is going to take the previous state which is this one and then from data so the from data same as before the previous state now contains the state passed from the use form stack we which we are going to do here right now let's change the zod parse function to safe parse so here we have the create invoice parse but we're going to do uh, this is save parse function save it and we are not going to do all this what we're basically going to do is instead of destructuring we're just going to say valley dated fields like so now save parse will return an object containing either a success or error field this will help handle validation more gracefully without having put this logic inside the try catch block okay now before sending the information to a database let's check if the form fields were validated correctly with a conditional and i'm going to just say if not validated from that means some sort of error happens oh in, in fact it's actually going to success there you go this is not it's a faulty value if that's the case then we are going to return why it's happening okay we're going to return an object with uh, errors which is going to be validated fields dot error it's going to give us an error and we're going to flatten the array to filled errors like so we're also going to add a message which will be missing fields fail to create invoice so if validated fields isn't successful we return the function early with the error message from zod so here we want to do is const customer ID and then amount and then get the status restructured it restructured it from validated fields dot data there you go 
save that because this is going to do success or errors, but it's also going to um, give us a data attribute where the data that we want here, the amount, customer ID, and everything. And then everything should remain the same. Now let's it. display the errors in our form component. So back in the create form.tsx, so save this, go back here. We can access the errors using the form state, right? Now here we're gonna say add a ternary operator that checks for each specific error. For example, after the customer's field, we can add. So let's go ahead and do the select ID customers here. Default value is a empty string. So we're gonna add an aria described by. Aria described by, and we're gonna say customer error safe okay we're also going to add here so let's see we are there you go we are user circle icon so just underneath this particular div we're going to create another div now this particular div will have an id with this call customer error we're gonna add an aria la label to it. This aria label will be polite. And we wanna do aria atomic is gonna be true. And inside this, we are going to say if state dot errors is true get the customer id from there map we're going to get the error which is going to be a type of string and we're going to do we're going to return tag here where we're going to return the error itself the p tag will add some class name we're gonna do margin top to two text small text red 500 and then we also every, every time we add map we also have to Key. You probably know this because of because of how React works. This one has to be. There you go. So margin top two, text small, text red five hundred, and then our key, and then just returning the error itself. Okay, so here we have to add all these um, errors, and for this one, it's actually going to be amount. So that's the amount. Save this. So let's go check. Refresh. There you go. So if I try to create this, it's going to give me an amount greater than zero. And the last one we are going to add here. Um, Maybe add it here. I'm gonna try to take a look at uh, maybe. Maybe add it just underneath here. Perfect, let's go do this. And this one is actually not gonna be a uh, customer ID, but it's actually gonna be um, uh, status. And save. There you go. So now we have an error handling that is in uh, through our server. And we want to uh, go to our edit form.tsx. 
I want to make things better for this one as well. So what we want to do here is this is the edit form. So we, we made our create form better. Now this is going to be our edit form. So here our edit invoice form. We have our invoice and customers. What we want to do here is we are, want to const initial state just like the other one. And we want to just do whatever here, message null, errors, um, errors are going to be an empty object. That's good. That's good. And cons state, and it's going to give us the dispatch. And we're going to go to use form state that's going to come in from react DOM is going to take our update invoice with id that function right here and it's going to take our initial state that we just created right here and what we want to do here is that instead of calling this update function here we are going to call our action here okay save that it's going to give you an error because we have to now make sure that we add uh, to our action it's update invoice function this function right here so update invoice is going to get at id string is going to get now previous state which is going to be type of state just like our create form form that are going to remain same and here i'm going to copy this because i need it later so i'm going to just uh, cut this and we are going to say validated fields okay and we are obviously going to check if not validated fields dot success not status uh let's see oh because this one i need to change this instead of pass i'm going to change this to safe pass and now it's going to have a success and error and then we can say that if it's success a return we're going to return an errors message basically saying the validated uh, fields dot error dot let's flatten this array with failed errors and let's go ahead and add a message here as well and say missing fields fail to update invoice like that and now here we're going to say const we can do this and this is actually going to come from the validated fields from data okay div error so the first thing we will do we're going to say into the select default value, we're going to add this aria described by. And that's going to be the same thing, customer dash error. That's going to be described by the customer dash error. And then here we will be able to write. So that you see that that now this errors are showing. So yeah so you, you're basically going to do the same exact thing uh, that's how we are handling our errors we're showing now in the next after, we uh, are going to learn about adding authentication to all this application that we just created